Amelia Bedelia Means Business, Chapter 6. But let's talk about what happened in Chapter 5. Remember, she got a job at the diner and she was really excited. And she got a uniform and everything. And then she started um, helping people. She saw her friends were there. She didn't want them to see him, see her. But then he, she had trouble with some of the um, sayings like step on it. That means hurry up. And so she, then she got fired. Okay, you're fired. That's the name of the chapter. Amelia Bedelia was glad she had to walk through the park to get home. Walking by the trees and flowers helped her think. What was she going to tell her mom and dad? Her very first job had lasted less than an hour. They might, might not feel so proud of her. Amelia Bedelia spied a big bed of flowers. I know, she said to herself. I'll bring mom some flowers. Then she won't be mad at me. Amelia Bedelia had seen that work for her father when her mom was upset with him. It was worth a try now. She picked a bunch of flowers in different colors and surrounded them with a circle of daisies. Daisies were her mom's favorite, hers too. She had just finished making a bouquet when a policeman walked up. Little girl, he said, where did you get all those flowers? Right here, said Amelia Bedelia. I didn't leave many, but there are still enough for you. There she said. Maybe she's not supposed to pick them, huh? The policeman looked where she pointed. You have cleaned out that entire flower bed, he said. No, I didn't, said Amelia Bedelia. It's still very dirty. The policeman shook his head. You can't pick flowers in the park. They're for everyone who lives here to enjoy. I live here, said Amelia Bedelia. So does my mom. I pick these for her. You can't do that, the policeman said. In fact, you shouldn't even be standing here. Can you read that? He pointed at a sign stuck in the lawn. Keep off the grass. It says keep off the grass, said Amelia Bedelia. That means you, said the policeman. Amelia Bedelia, Amelia Bedelia looked at her feet. Then she looked at the policeman's feet. What about you, she asked. You're standing on the grass too. The p policeman looked annoyed. Are you talking back to me, he asked sternly. Amelia Bedelia wasn't sure what to do. She wanted to answer him, but she'd have to talk back to do it. Finally, she said, yes, but you started talking to me first, so I talked back to you. Then you talked back to me, and I talked back to you. So, you, the policeman blew his whistle. Enough, he said. I'll let you off with a warning this time. Now, take those flowers home to your mother. I promise I will, said Amelia Bedelia as she waved goodbye. Thanks. Amelia Bedelia walked slowly down the path. As soon as the policeman was out of sight, she sat down on a park bench to rest for a minute. A woman was sitting at the other end of the bench with her dog. She didn't look very happy. In fact, she looked very sad. Here she is right here. Okay. What lovely flowers, she said to Amelia Bedelia. I'd like to give them to you, said Amelia Bedelia, to cheer you up, but I just promised to take them to my mom. How sweet of you said the woman then she blew her nose sorry if i look upset my boss just gave me a pink slip sounds pretty said amelia bedelia pretty she said it wasn't pretty at all that's too bad said amelia bedelia she's thinking of this kind of a slip like under your dress pink slip maybe pink isn't your color my mom likes to wear white slips with lacy stuff on the top a curious look came over the woman's face. Then she burst out laughing and kept on laughing until tears streamed down her cheeks. Thank you, she said. I needed a good laugh today. My name is Diana. What's yours? I'm Amelia Bedelia. Meet Buster, said Diana. Her dog held up his, its paw for Amelia Bedelia to shake. Wow, Amelia Bedelia said. Buster has a firm paw shake. Buster's the best, said Diana. He doesn't care that I was just let go from my job. Me too, said Amelia, Amelia Bedelia. Then she told Diana what had happened at Pete's Diner. Diana laughed even harder when she heard about stepping on the pie. We've got a lot in common, said Diana. We've both been fired. Amelia Bedelia was amazed to learn that being let go was the same as being fired. It reminded her that she still had to go home and tell her parents what had happened at Pete's. She got up to leave. Hey, Diana, 
Maybe you should start your own business, she said. Diana nodded. I think you're right, she said. I've, I'd never fire myself. I would be fireproof. If you were fireproof, said Amelia Bedelia, you'd never get burned. Right you are, said Diana. Amelia Bedelia scratched Buster behind his ears and said goodbye to Diana, but she didn't get very far. Excuse me, miss, excuse me, a man was waving at her. Miss, he said, I'm meeting someone here for the first time. Well, it's a date, and I told her I'd be carrying a bouquet. Would you please sell me yours? It's for my mom, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll pay you ten dollars, he said. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. No, I promised. How about twenty dollars? He asked, twenty dollars? Here you go, she said, handing him the bouquet of flowers. Thanks, he said, handing her a crisp twenty dollar bill. Okay. Twenty dollars! Amelia Bedelia waved to Diana and was on her way once again. But then she heard a familiar voice. She peeked over her shoulder. The policeman had stopped the man with the bouquet. Amelia Bedelia began to walk faster. Excuse me, sir said the policeman. Those flowers look suspiciously like the ones we grow in the park. Where did you get them? I just bought them. She heard the man answer from a sweet little girl. Amelia Bedelia began to trot. What little girl? asked the policeman. Amelia Bedelia began to run. She darted through the park gates, running as fast as she could. She flew by a sign that said, Slow children. I'm not having much luck with signs today, she thought as she raced home. By the... That means like children are playing, so be careful around children. By the time she got to her house, Amelia Bedelia was out of breath. Her parents did not seem surprised to see her. We got a call from Pete, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Next time, call us and we'll come get you. There won't be a next time, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, sweetie, her mother said. It was a good try. What did you learn from your first job, asked her father. I learned that the customer is always right, said Amelia Bedelia. That's what they say, said her father. Did you learn anything else? asked her mother. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I learned that sometimes the customer is crazy. Amelia Bedelia's parents smiled. They stopped when they saw Amelia Bedelia's lower lip began to tremble. It's no fun to get fired, sobbed Amelia Bedelia. Now I'll never get that bite. Her parents hugged her and hoisted her into their arms. Don't worry, they said. We have an idea. Dun, dun, dun. The next chapter is called Lemon Stand, No Sit.